Okay, Algebra 1, 6-3, 6-4, elimination. We're going to do some subtraction, addition, uh, also some multiplication. So we're going to combine two sections. This is the third and final way we have of solving systems. Initially, we had done graphing. Um, then we did solving systems with substitution. And now we're going to talk about elimination. So let's take this system. It is 4x plus 6y equals 32, and 3x minus 6y equals 3. Now, most of you would look at this and go, oh, if I had to graph that, that would be crazy. I'd have to subtract 4x, divide by 6. Um, substitution, not really that much easier. But elimination is great because it's just what it says. I want to get rid of one of the variables. So I look at this as an addition and subtraction problem. So I'm going to draw a line under here and watch what happens. If I were to add the 4x and the 3x, I would get 7x. If I take positive 6y minus 6y, those cancel and gives me 0. So I'm left with, on the right hand side, that's a positive 32 and a positive 3. So I add those together and get 35. Right away, I divide by 7, and I have already found x. Okay. I eliminated my y's because they were the same. One was positive, one was negative. All I had left was x's. I took the two numbers on the side and combined like terms, and I solved by dividing by 7. So now I'm going to take that 5, and I'm going to substitute it back in. This kind of relates back to 6-2. Uh, and I'm going to sub it into, in my opinion, I'm going to take the first one because the first one doesn't have any negatives. And so everywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace that with a 5. So that's going to be 4 times 5 plus 6y equals 32. That gives me 20 plus 6y equals 32. And so I subtract 20 from both sides, giving me 6y equals 12. Final step, y equals 2. So my answer, I have an x-coordinate of 5. I have a y-coordinate of 2, so my solution is the coordinate 5, 2. Okay, so let me give you one you can work on your own. Let's go negative 4x plus 3y equals negative 3, and 4x minus 5y equals 5. I'm going to go ahead and draw my line underneath here. Go ahead and hit pause and work through this one on your own. Okay. So it looks a little bit different, but what I see is that the 4x's are the same. One of them's a negative, one of them's a positive. So negative 4x plus 4x is 0. That cancels. So I go to the second one. I have a positive 3y minus 5y. That gives me negative 2y. And then negative 3 plus 5 gives me a positive 2. Now, some of you may say, well, how do I know if I need to add or subtract? Just do what the signs tell you to do. For instance, on the right-hand side of my equal sign, I have a negative 3 and a positive 5. So that's why I do negative 3 plus 5. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. So that gives me 2 divided by negative 2, which is negative 1. Now, which one of those do I substitute it in? It doesn't matter. In this case, they both have negatives, so I'm just going to take the top one. So I have negative 4x plus 3, now I substitute in my negative 1, 
So that's negative 4x minus 3 equals negative 3. Add 3 to both sides. So now that gives me negative 4x equals 0. Obviously, when we divide by negative 4, that's just going to give us x equals 0. So my coordinate, or my solution, is 0, negative 1. 0, negative 1. Okay, now let's switch it up a little bit. Now they're not going to eliminate each other perfectly. So we're going to have to manipulate them by multiplying through by a constant that will make something cancel. So as much as I hate to say it, we need to think common denominator in this case. And so I look at the 4 and the 3, and I look at the 4x and the 3x, excuse me, and the 2y and the 3y, and I try to find the easiest common denominator that I can find. And so I'm going to go with the 2y and the 3y. And the first common denominator they're going to have is 6. So oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to multiply the top one by 3. And the bottom one, uh-oh, I lost a, lost a number there. Let's see, that should be 9. Excuse me. I'm going to multiply the bottom one by 2, but if I have a 6y and a 6y, they're not going to eliminate each other. So what I'm actually going to do is multiply by a negative 2. Here's what that gives me. That gives me 12x plus 6y equals 24. Again, multiply all the way through. And then you have negative 6x minus 6y equals negative 18. Now, just do what the signs tell you to do. 12x minus 6x is 6x. 6y minus 6y cancels. That's what we wanted it to do. And 24 minus 18 is 6. So you'll see we divide by 6 on both sides. x equals 1. Now, take it back into your original equation, and I'll put it in either one because they're both positive. So I'm going to take 4 times 1 plus 2y equals 8. That's 4 plus 2y equals 8. Subtract 4 from both sides. And that's 2y equals 4. Divide by 2, giving me a y value of 2. So that makes my coordinate 1, 2. Okay? So let me give you one you can do on your own. Give me just a second. Okay, let's take a look at this one. 9x minus 2y equals negative 8 and negative 7x plus 3y equals 12. Looking at the 9 and the 7 and the 2 and the 3, I would pick the 2 and the 3, again, and make them 6s, just my personal preference. But I'm going to let you go ahead and look at that. Go ahead and hit pause, and I will be right back. OK, I'm going to make those 6s. So I multiply the top by 3, and I multiply the bottom by 2. And then I ask myself, will that eliminate? OK, 3 times negative 2y is going to give me negative 6y. 2 times 3y is going to give me positive 6y. So I don't have to change the signs on either of those. They're already ready to go. So let's multiply through, and I'll give you a look and see what that looks like. That's going to be 27x minus 6y equals negative 24. And then on the bottom, we have negative 14x plus 6y equals uh, 12 times 2 is 24. So as big as those numbers look, they're about to fall very quickly. 27x minus 14x is 13x. Negative 6y plus 6y, that's our canceling values. 
are eliminated values. Negative 24 and a positive 24, that gives me 0. Divide both sides by 13. These are the ones we like because when I substitute in 0, that's going to make my equation very simple. So I put it back in. Either one will be fine. I'm going to go 9 times 0 minus 2y equals negative 8. That's 0 minus 2y equals negative 8. Divide both sides by negative 2. And negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4, giving me a solution of 0, 4. All right, guys, a little bit lengthy, about 11 minutes, but I did combine two, two sections together. And so hopefully that will uh, speed up the process just a little bit. So there is 6, 3, and 6, 4, solving systems with elimination.